So this is our second tableau. And notice we still have negative entries in the last row. So picking the leftmost, most negative entry in the last row, we notice that the first column will be our pivot column. Let's consider the non-negative ratios that go with that. 26 fifths divided by 2 fifths is 26 fifths times 5 halves, which is 13. 8 fifths divided by 1 fifth is 8 fifths times 5 over 1, which is 8. That's the smallest non-negative entry. So this should be our pivot element. So let's write the pivot operations to pivot there. 5 times row 2 added stored in row 2. And then we'll assume that that becomes a 1. Then we'll take a negative 2 fifths times row 2, add that into row 1, store that into row 1. Then we would take 6 times row 2, add that into row 3, store that into row 3. Again, if you want to use your calculators for this operation, the first one would be times row 5 5 matrix A row 2 stored into matrix A. Second would be times row plus. Our multiple is a negative 2 fifths operated in on matrix A. Times row 2 added into row 1, store it in matrix A. The third one would be times row plus 6 operate on matrix A, multiply row 2 by 6, and store that into row 3, and make sure we store it into matrix A when we're done. So take a minute and go ahead and put that into your calculator. You can press pause, and then let's continue on in the process. Okay, after performing these row operations, we're given this tableau. And notice that the last row has no negative entries. That tells us we are optimal. In other words, this is now our final tableau, which means we should be able to read a solution from here. Now notice that x sub 2, x sub 3, and s sub 2 are not unit columns. That makes them non-basic, which means they're going to have the value of 0. So as I read my solution from here, x sub 1 is a basic variable, it's a unit column, and the 1 is in the second row, which means x sub 1 is going to be 8. x sub 2 is non-basic, meaning it has a value of 0. x sub 3 is non-basic, meaning it has a value of 0. s sub 1 is a basic variable, it's a unit column, the 1 is associated with the 2, so s sub 1 is 2. S sub 2 is non-basic, it has the value of 0, and Z has the value then of 64. So if we read our solution, remember we were maximizing originally, we can say we have a maximum value of 64 at the ordered pair. Now, when we state our solution, it only has to do with X's. So X sub 1 is 8, X sub 2 is 0, X sub 3 is 0.